الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم اللهم إني أسألك علما نافعا ورزقا طيبا وعملا متقبلا رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته um, so my name is Akik. Um, I don't think I need to introduce myself, but I will say I was um, part of POSIS as the former Vice President of Student Affairs. Um, when we think of, when we think of, uh, when we think of patients, I think there are certain uh, ayat that come to mind. Um, but in particular, there is, uh, there is an ayat in uh, Surah, Surah Al-Anfal. Uh, Allah Jalla Allah mentions it. فَعَلَوْضُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَعَطِئُوا اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ وَلَا تَنَازَعُوا فَتَحْشَلُوا فَتَفْشَلُوا وَتَذْهَبَ رِيحُكُمْ وَصْبِرُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِينَ And here Allah Jalla Allah, he, he, he tells us that we should obey Allah, His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to not dispute with one another until we lose patience and courage leaves us. And then Allah Jalla Allah mentions, be patient. Indeed, Allah is with the patient. Um, now, what does this mean uh, from the context of us being patient in our work and um, I guess in our everyday lives? It's, it's really important to reflect upon these things um, because patience, I don't, patience is synonymous to something, a concept that you might have heard of, which is taqwa, having taqwa. Um, and this is, so, this is so important because when we think about taqwa, people would think automatically it's fear, but it encompasses so much more than that. Why? Because in taqwa itself, it's not just fear, it's love. It's being in awe of Allah and being in continuous um, uh, consciousness of Allah in our day-to-day -day lives, whether it's um, in our activism, in ISOPs, or within the wider student community, or even in the community, or even within our day-to-day -day lives. Um, and this is something that's really, really important because when we, have, when we think about patience, a lot of the time we think about going through adversity, going through tough times. And this is something I can say from experience in the student political space, at least, uh, it's very difficult, especially for Muslims when you're always dealing with um, sort of adversities, when you're always trying to counter opposition, who essentially, uh, whether it's sort of uh, discriminating things that discriminate against your community or challenges that you face, whether it's within your ISOTs, within your student unions or within your university community, or even organizations and institutions who might propagate problems for you outside of those institutions. I think it's important to bear in mind uh, when we think uh, about taqwa specifically. Now, why is this important? Because Allah Jalla also mentions in uh, Surah Ahzab where he says, Now, I mentioned taqwa. Taqwa here is very important because part of that is having love for Allah, fear of Allah, being, being in awe of Allah, being conscious, con continuous consciousness of Allah. And part of it is also to have trust. So when Allah Jalla mentions, and put your trust in Allah. وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ وَكِيلًا Sufficient is Allah, the trustee. Wakila, i.e. the trustee. Um, sufficient is Allah, trustee. But particularly here, he's talking about trustee of our affairs. Because sometimes we'll go through difficulties. Um, sometimes uh, people will give us difficulties. Or they, um, there will be uh, uh, tasks that give us difficulties. And there will be situations that we're put in, which, gives us, which uh, puts us in quite a bit of difficulty and puts a bit of strain on us. Strain on us. Uh, both physically and mentally. And this is why it's so important to always be conscious of Allah. Because when we are conscious of Allah Jalla um, it gives us this sakina, this peace, that everything that is happening to you is because Allah has written it for you. Like Allah knows us better than we know ourselves. So when he mentions, yusra, He will never give us something more than we can bear. And so we should always be conscious of that. And then, when we think about it from this perspective, the lens of taqwa and something that we should internalize, then we should also reflect upon the reflect upon uh, concepts like fi sabilillah. What do we mean when we say we want to do something for the sake of Allah or sabilillah, the path that leads towards Allah? This is something we should also reflect on because um, I think being part of ISOC and being part of sort of the Muslim community and um, wider activist spaces, this is something that's also um, regurgitated a lot. But one thing I would like brothers and sisters to sort of reflect on is, do we actually live by this? Um, when we say, when we utter these words, when we talk about how we want to live for the sake of Allah or do something for the sake of Allah, 
how many of us are actually living that through our lives? When I say lives, I'm talking about our homes, our interactions with our brothers and sisters, our interactions with our colleagues, our interactions with our siblings, our grandparents, our parents. And how many of that manifest, manifest, how many of us manifest that in our actions? And this is why it's so important when we think about patience that we make sure that it's synonymous to taqwa. Because when you, uh, when you conceptualize taqwa, you should know that it's something that makes you always aware of Allah in everything that you do and um, in every action that you take and everything you say. And I think that's so important because especially in times of difficulty, when you have this mindset, it gives you ease, it, 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 it makes you ponder and it makes you reflect and it makes you think introspectively. And this is something that, ta'ala, it's a sunnah of the anbiya um, and something that we should always do and look introspe introspectively on and something, be, something that should increase us in iman. Um, so this is my advice to the brothers and sisters is that to reflect on what fi sabilillah means to you. When we say for the sake of Allah, what do we actually mean by that? And when we think of patience, how do we want to, how do you want to instill virtues of patience within ourselves? How do you want to um, reflect that through our actions? And essentially, if we are, if we are people, if we want to be amongst the successful, like aflah al-mu'minun, and Allah Jalla wa'ala mentions, qad aflah al-mu'minun, successful are the believers. What does that look like for us when we think about being conscious of Allah, when we think about having faith in Allah, when we think about our adversities and our difficulties that we face and how we can do that? Because ultimately what you want to do, you want to get to a stage where you, you're constantly recalibrating your faith and centering your activism around faith. Because we're human beings at the end of the day and our iman will always fluctuate. But I think it's so important that when we think of these concepts of trust, of patience, of difficulty, that we center it around being consciousness of Allah, the concept of taqwa. And this is so important because this is what will essentially um, keep us on a path that will lead to attaining the pleasure of Allah and um, something that will better us and continually help us to grow as Muslims, as, as, as people who want to strive to do better and people who, uh, and brothers and sisters who will inshallah uh, be united in Jannah al Fadaw Sa'ala. I ask Allah Jalla wa'ala to make us amongst those that are patient, those that have taqwa and those that are successful both in this life and the next. Barakallahu liyakum wa lisa'id al-Muslimina min kulli dham. فاستغفروه إنه الغفور الرحيم